Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. Look, if you like the video, like the video because I'm going to show you the best 3 and D guard that there is in the game. He's not even really a 3 and D guard. I don't know why they're going to call him a 3 and D guard, but that's not really what he is. He's going to be probably the most well-rounded guard you can have. This guy's designed to defend the one but play the two. He's going to play the off guard position. I got him at point guard for a reason. And like I said, if you like this bill, go ahead and smash that like button. Look, the pie chart that we're going to take is going to be this one here. The skill breakdown is going to be obviously the three and D. So we want green and red. Boom. The one that we're going to take the physical attributes. Look, his max speed can be, can be 91. If we take 91 speed, we're only going to get 56 strength. We don't want that. We're gonna, we want somebody that's gonna be strong. We can go with, we can go with this one, but if you take max vertical, you're only gonna get 50, you know, 50, maybe 60 strength. The one that you wanna take is this one right here. You want 87 speed, but 73 base strength. Everything else, 85 acceleration, all that good stuff. You're only losing four points off of speed. I hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna make a whole heck of a lot of difference. If it does, you can put some respect on it. All right, so this is our final point spread and this is done like this and it's very 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 important that you do it like this i know that you can get 18 shooting badge points i know that but i'm feeling like that we can compensate with one badge being gold anyway something's gonna be gold something's gonna be silver um we're probably only gonna put one on quick draw so if we put one on quick draw then that's gonna give us four hall of fame badges and i really feel like that's all we're going to need anyway on that i got this thing thought out man so just rock with me so look shot close is 80. driving layup is 72. it's got to be 72 because of what we're trying to accomplish driving dunk is 75. boom all right all of my shots are gonna be 80 so that means the timing will be shot close timing is gonna be 80. shot uh three point shot timing is gonna be 80 and our mid-range shot is gonna be 80. So that's gonna help us out because what that's going to do is, it's gonna make our shot speed be the same for everything. Free throw, the rest of the stuff is just put here just so we can get the badges up to 17. Um, if I move anything, I, I don't get 17. And you're going to need, and, and there's nothing else that I, like I said, I got these points distributed perfectly. I promise you. So, um, and if I move anything else, it's gonna mess up what I wanna do with post fade. Post fade 69. We should be able to get by with that, and I'm going to show you why in a second. Pass accuracy is 79. Uh, ball handling is uh, 78. We don't plan on handling the ball much. We just don't want to lose the ball. Interior defense, don't put anything on it. I'm a, shoot, I'm a shooting guard, really, but I'm a point guard. You're going to see why I'm a point guard in a second. I'm on the perimeter. I don't need interior defense. I mean, I'm, I don't plan on switching off, and if I do switch off that extra little 15, it being 55 or 65, it's not going to help me. Uh, perimeter defense, 84. Lateral quickness, 81. Got to be 81. I'll show you why in a second. Steel, 87. Block, 66. Uh, no offensive rebound, and I don't plan on getting offensive rebounds. I'll probably be able to outboard somebody else, but I I'm not going to put anything on offensive rebound. I'm planning on being at the top, getting the stop, and we out like Coke Gotti. Hey, go check out my boy Coke Gotti if you, if you ain't seen the link down in the description. And our uh, defensive rebounding is going to be at 75. Boom. Here we go. Body style defined, this is, this is how, now this is the secret sauce right here. Boom, boom. This is where we're going. Put him at 6'5". I want him to be 6'5", and, and you'll see what happens when we when we went to 6'5", we lost a little speed, so he's down to 84 speed from 87, but we gained strength, and uh, I think we lost a little acceleration. Don't worry about that. The thing is this, you still have a set, you see you got minus two on your layup. I don't know why Why when you get taller you get worse at layups, but whatever. I wanted it to be an even 70 on my layup. We gained one on the dunk, so so the dunk is 76. Uh, let's see, mid-range went down to an 80 now. Everything is 80. Post fade went up one, so now we had an even 70 on that. Pass accuracy, not worried about it, but it's still 78. Uh, ball handling, 75. Don't care about post moves. Interior defense went up to 45, whatever. Uh, perimeter defense stayed the same. Lateral quickness went down one, but we still have 80 lateral quickness. Beautiful. Still went down two. We still got an 85 still. Beautiful. Block went up 14 points. We got an 80 block. Now, if you want to put the vertical on this guy, I'm pretty sure that you can do what you need to do and, and, and do whatever, but we got an 80 overall block. I'm, I'm ecstatic with that. 46 as far as the uh, uh, 46 as far as uh, offensive rebound. I'm cool with that, whatever. 82 
defensive rebounding with this dude, man. Man, you're going to be out there with glasses and stuff, bro. And I ain't talking about the kind you wear on your face. This is the other secret sauce. He wants to be 200 and I believe it is 10 pounds. If you make him 210 pounds, you look one tick over 210 or a couple of ticks over 210, you're going to lose some acceleration. You're going to lose some vertical, right? So you want to make him 200 and boom, 210 pounds. 210 pounds gives you 80 strength. The max strength you can get anyway is 81. I don't care about 81 strength. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if that's gonna put us over a threshold, but you can make him max weight, I guess, if you want to. You can make him 215, but maybe that one acceleration is gonna help. Hey, we're gonna go max weight, what up? Maybe the 81 strength, cause it, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt us anywhere else, right? Cause as soon as we get to 80, boom. You see, we're, we, we, we're going down anyway to 80, um, 80, and we get 81. Maybe that's a new threshold and it unlocks some other stuff. You know how it is with man, that one, that one actually helps. Oh, hold up, our lateral quickness died. All right, that's right. All right, so we gotta keep it down here. Ah, uh, we wanna have 80 strength. Maybe lateral quickness ain't, a, ain't, a, ain't as important though. We are gonna take 77 lateral quickness. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go max weight, 215, 65, 215. I'm, I can live with that. Wingspan, I didn't touch it because I want to have an 83 ball. That's what I want. I want to have an 83 ball. Don't ask me why. It is what it is. Come on, man. You're a lockdown, you're a lockdown defender. You got to take the lock. But look, I can get shot creator takeover. I can get a playmaking takeover. I can get spot up shooter takeover. Or I can get the lock. We want to cause trouble, cause a lot of issues. We're going to take the lock to take over. And when you get to 95, you'll be able to change it anyway, baby. But anyway, this guy, they said, I am a 3 and D point. Like Gilbert Arenas, Russell Westbrook, John Wall. I agree with all of that. Boom. We shall continue. Now, this is where I really feel like this is the piece to resist don'ts. Let me see. Let me see. When we get to 95, what are we going to be? This is what something that Mike was talking about. Uh, you know, when you get to 95 or whatever, but the badges and all that, this is, like I said, this is going to be the secret sauce. Finishing badges. I don't want but one badge. Contact finisher on gold. That's what I want. I want contact finisher on gold. And the reason I want that is because, bro, I just, I've seen how this thing works and I just know that, you know, it just, it just really feels like you need contact finisher because they're gonna sit here and, and body you every time in this game. It's just that boost team uh, take over complete. I don't care about no highlight play. I want a cross key finisher or uh, cross key score. I really feel like that's gonna help with reverses and stuff like that. But hey, that could be acrobat. It is what it is. Um, you know, cross key score. I guess that's like faders across the key, layups and all this stuff across the key. I'm going to use that at a different time, but for the purposes of this game, we're going to use uh, contact finisher on go. Just look how broke this is, man. All right, so look, like I said, we're going to put one on quick draw. We're doing dead eye, catch and shoot. And um, I would do, I don't want, I don't care about flexible release. Uh, we're going to do hot zone hunter. I feel like hot zone hunter is the one that you really want. And I'll tell you why I feel like Hot Zone Hot Zone Hunter is the one that you really want. I really feel like it's the one that you really want because if I'm I only shoot from my hot zones, and obviously you're gonna put this on Hall of Fame. So now you get four Hall of Fame badges. You put one in the quick draw. Everything else we cool. Difficult shots. You could probably put some stuff in the difficult shots, but I feel like catch and shoot, dead eye, hot zone hunter, and um and range extender are good. And like if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to try to test something out, I could do this right here and put difficult shots because my, actually, I, I think I think this is what we're gonna go with for the purposes of this game. If you don't want difficult shots, then, cause catch and shoot goal and, and dead eye on goal should be good enough. Hall of Fame, uh, you know, it, it really is just gonna depend on, on how you go. What I'm going to do is, this is what I'm gonna do in the beginning. Boom, boom. Boom. I'm gonna do like this in the beginning, and when I see what you can get away with, then I'll make changes. But for the purposes of this gameplay, we're gonna do like this. We want difficult shots on go, we want catch and shoot on go, we want dead eye on go, and hot zone hunter on go on go. We really don't, and I want range extender to be purple just because 
I feel like when you are playing pro-am and stuff, you gotta be able to shoot from the hash. So this is why I would build them like this. And plus, we wanna see what type of difficult shots we can get away with. Because I really feel like, like, bro, this dude, this dude gonna be tough, man. All that other stuff, flexible release, don't need it. That's for lates and earlies. Um, if, if I feel like, like that's something I need, you can go flexible release on go, or, or you can split the difference and put them on there. I just wanna put difficult shots. Let me go put difficult shots on go for this one. All right, steady shooter. I, I don't plan on taking contested shots. Um, slippery off ball. That might be cool. Let me see. Let me. I mean, slippery off ball when attempted to get open off off a screen. The player is more effective, more effectively navigates through traffic. Eh, I, I can figure that part out. I, I, I don't. I, if it's not helping me juke people off the ball and stuff like that. Um, you know, strength of the player ability to get open up ball. I, I'm not gonna worry about it, but we will see how strong that is when the game actually comes out. All right, defensive badges. Uh, let's see. Look, defensive leader. I want that. You gotta have Hall of Fame clamps. No point in not having that. Um, heart crusher, intimidator. We are gonna put that on silver. We still got a few. You gotta put brick wall because I want to suck people's energy. Pause. And uh, we're gonna put that put that there and maybe we'll put chase down artists on silver i don't care about lightning reflexes because when you look at what lightning reflexes actually does it just gives you a cue it, it doesn't help you move fast it just gives you that cue under the thing I, I don't care about that moving truck don't need post lockdown don't need pogo stick don't need pickpocket that's what we need all right so we're not going to use chase down artists we're going to use uh pickpocket and uh let's see what do we want to do i won't go pickpocket so we're going to do it like this we, we don't know exactly how effective Heart Crusher is going to be, but I know it's effective. I know Brick Wall, last year all I had was Silver Bruiser, and uh, Brick Wall works just like Bruiser. That's why you want that. Oh, yeah, but I want Off-Ball Pest, too. All right, so what do we do? How do we achieve Off-Ball Pest? Uh, do we go here with Heart Crusher and just give me... Let, let, let's just go, because I... Cause, I, I saw with off-ball pest, I definitely saw that you could get away with a lot more things. Um, where you where people just couldn't move, they couldn't get by, they couldn't do stuff when you were playing off-ball. So I did see that in the thing, but really I just wanted to have defensive leader and uh, and clamps on Hall of Fame. We may find out that clamps on Hall of Fame, you don't need them, and so you can actually take that off and do that. But this is where, I, this is where I'm gonna start the year right here. I need Heart Crusher though, because when when somebody um, when I steal the ball, I need the I, I want their takeover meter to go down. We're trying to keep you from getting takeover. Hopefully, hopefully silver brick wall with the strength that I got will work well. Everything else should be good. Silver intimidator should be good. Uh, everything else should be good. Now, this is where he gonna shine right here. Playmaker, timer, go, floor general. Go. I get to be, because I made him a point guard, I get to put floor general on go. I know that my actual point guard will appreciate this because I've seen so many point guards that said, bro, I'm not doing it. I am not putting floor general on. Diamond should be good enough. But do you see what, Dime, what, what floor general does? Gives offensive attribute boost to teammates when on the floor. So when I'm on the floor, everybody's going to get, get, uh, get, a, get a boost. So look at this. So I got this on on the floor and I'm on this gonna boost it should boost if I if let's say each level let's just say that each level boosts one attribute point. Let's say I got somebody on my team with a 75-3. Right? Or 77-3, like my boy T Milson. Me being on the floor, he's gonna have an 80 overall three. That's gonna be dope. And then quick first step on go. Boom. That's all I want. Dimer. So when I pass the ball to somebody, you know they can get it. Floor general on go, just because I feel like I'm a lockdown, so I'm a utility player, so I gotta be a utility player. And then we got a uh, quick first step on on go. And like I said, man, to me, that's like the perfect bill. Obviously, you gotta choose a jump shot, so you know we you know we pick Paul George around here. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some footage and I'll uh, cut it up. And hopefully, like I said, man, you guys see this as a, as a good thing. I put a lot of thought into this build, man. I tested it out. I did a whole bunch. So hopefully this, this comes out well for you. If you are a 3 and D person that plays off ball, 
and I can really, I really ain't just three and D, bro. I'm really a all around guard. The only thing I can't do is, is dribble. And he can actually dribble pretty well with quick first step. Quick first step is speed boosting. So I can dribble pretty well. So if I, and I'm a good utility player because I've got, I've got all the, the utility badges for the people, man. Plus I got my own badges. Like I said, my badges, I, I got them exactly how I want them to be. Boom. I can go Hall of Fame. I just want to test out diff difficult shots. I got contact finisher on go. I can go to the rim. I can dunk on people. But like I said, y'all will see when we get in this thing, man. Let's get right into it. I really feel like with the game only being two days away, I feel like this is the best time because you know that I've actually gone through and, and done as much as I could. Contact finishing. Look at that. I ain't got to be scared to go up on anybody. Bro, I think I, I'm pretty sure that there are probably some slashers out there that don't have this type of... Great. Contact finish. Brain. Mm. Brain. Difficult shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, 